Let's calculate the distance from point A to this line here. First, I draw a line segment from point A perpendicular to the x-axis. I call the point formed here point B. Now, let's find the coordinates of point B. Since point B is aligned with point A, their abscissas will be the same. Therefore, we can also call the abscissa of point B x1. When I substitute this x1 value into the equation, I will find the ordinate of point B, because point B lies on this line. Now, I substituted x1 and calculated the ordinate, so now I can write the coordinates of B. After writing this, I notice the following. I can calculate the distance of the line segment AB. All I need to do is subtract the ordinate of A from the ordinate of B and take the absolute value of that. Because even if the difference here turns out to be negative, since distance is always positive, I need to take it as a positive value. Now, I'm taking a cross section at this part of the line, and in the section I take, I assign a value of 1 to the side that intersects perpendicularly. You'll understand why I assigned this value in a moment. The hypotenuse here must have the same slope as the slope of the line over there. The slope of the line here is m, which is the coefficient of x. So the slope of this hypotenuse will also be m. Since the slope is the ratio of the vertical length to the horizontal length, and the horizontal length here is 1, I can directly assign the value m to the vertical length. Now it's time to calculate the hypotenuse. I add the squares of the perpendicular sides and take the square root. In other words, I'm applying the Pythagorean theorem. When I look at these angles of the two triangles, I see that these angles are corresponding angles. So I can also call this angle beta. Now what I need to do is write the sine of beta for both triangles. Let's look at the sine of beta here. The ratio of the side opposite beta to the hypotenuse gives us the sine of beta here. Let's write down the sine of beta, the ratio of the side opposite to it to the hypotenuse. We had just calculated that a moment ago. Now to find the distance, I move this value to the other side of the equation as multiplication. This way, we've found the distance. But I can almost hear you saying this. The distance formula here doesn't look like the distance formula you know. It's not important. The reason is this. If you write the equation of the line as x plus y plus c equals 0 instead of this way, there are some changes in the formula. But it's not important. You can convert it to the form mx plus n. When you convert it to the form mx plus n, you'll see that here, m becomes minus a over b, and n becomes minus c over b. Then, if you substitute these values into our formula, you can arrive at that famous formula. But I'll leave that to you now.